Welcome back to another episode of Art Books Reviewed. And look at this, I've got a book here, what is it? It's been sent to me by Bitmap Books in this amazing packaging, very protective. As with previous books by this company, it is sent very well packaged. Uh, look at the look at the state of those corner pieces. Very robust. You ain't going to get any damage to the corner of your book with these. So I'll take them off anyway and have a little look inside. What is it going to be? It's also got this nice green wrapping paper with the bitmap book stickers. Just remove those. Um, so it's well packaged, very well protected, and also nicely presented. And what have we got inside? It's a book. It's a shiny, brand new, cellophane sealed book. It's called the Unofficial Snares Pixel Book. So this is a book all about the pixel graphics of the SNES console, the Super Nintendo. So this beautiful book, which is fairly square in proportions, is hardcover, as you can see. It's very shiny, glossy. It's got a nice design on the front and the back. It's actually in a slip case as well, as you can see there. And I'm gonna just have a look if I can get into this without actually damaging the book itself. You can probably tell here that it's a really robust slip case bit like some of the Marvel ones I've looked at in the past. So it's going to look after and protect the book inside really well and also just look really nice on your bookcase. It's got a nice design on the spine there, pixel book. It's published by Bitmap Books obviously, I've already said that. Now then it says 120 electrifying classics and you can see a list of games on the back there that are contained within or screenshots from those games are in inside. I've taken the book out and you can see that actually the design of the slipcase back and front is exactly the same as the book inside, and um, which is uh, reassuring, I guess. It's got a black page to begin with. It's got loads of really nice art in this book. It's colourful, as you will see as I go through it. Very colourful, multicoloured. There's the contents page. This took a bit of working out, to be honest, if, if I'm honest, um, because uh, rather than it just being a list of games, they've kind of gone by genre instead and I just found it a little bit confusing to be honest that's that's one of the downsides of the book although it's not a huge thing it just it, it made it kind of difficult to find pages of the specific games on the first few pages here incidentally are just showcasing some some art uh, from various SNES games uh, this is a nice two page spread Robo Samurai so as you can tell the print quality is excellent on this book I like the fact uh, that it's squarish. We're in the sort of role-playing section, by the way. Here, it's going to cover Zelda and so on. Yeah, I like the fact that it's square. It kind of makes a change from portrait or the really landscapey type books. Uh, it's easy to hold; it fits nice in the hand. But it's you know sturdy and it's heavy. It feels like quality. The render worm. So also some of the pages, like this one, sort of designed to be viewed across two pages vertically. That's nice. I think a lot of effort has gone into creating this book, researching the book. Um, and actually just sourcing all of the, um, the screenshots but also you know, writing the accompanying text about each of the games and different genres. So you know, well done to Bitmap Books and the authors for putting together this book. It must have been, um, yeah, it must have taken a lot of work and it's a beautiful end product. So I don't quite understand the system. You've got those kind of icons in the top left corner. I think they're supposed to uh, signify that we're in the role-playing game section and on each page you get sort of a, a title let's say full frontal attack which is not actually the title of the game so that's the bit where I got a bit confused the title of the game here's another vertical view look is often mentioned in bold it's uh, like Chrono Trigger for example on that page wow that's a nice piece of page of art I'm going through this fairly quickly um, but there are quite a lot of pages to get through having said that as you can see it's just uh, littered with lovely screenshots from the games. I'm sure if you owned a SNES um, that these pictures, these images will bring back lots of happy memories and it'll be a nostalgic trip for you, a little trip down memory lane. I like the fact that the text is very easy to read, it's a nice font, it's got good line spacing and it's actually quite a big font. Sometimes books cram the information in and they have to use a small font in order to do that and I, I think that uh, that's a false economy personally so I really like the way it's laid out and the font is good there's a good amount of information about the games to make it informative and interesting without detracting from the fact that at the end of the book this is like a gallery it's like an art book it is just supposed to be showcasing the pixel art of the game so you know a, a nice a pleasing amount of the the real estate is given over to showcasing the artwork yeah making our way through this is Cybernator 
so yeah, as I said, in bold on the left, normally you've got the actual game um, and you've got some sort of like uh, quirky title at the top, like use the pixel force there. I think this book will be of interest to retro gamers, um, anyone who's into Nintendos and the SNES, um, anyone who's into the history of uh, video games. I think that it's um, it's definitely value for money. There's a lot in this book, they've, they've packed a lot in, and as I've mentioned already in this review, it is of a high quality, like all the bitmap books really, they've really gone to town with this, uh, and it's not disappointing. It's one of these books also that you can just dip into. You could you could sit there and you could try and read it back to front uh, in one sitting. It might take you a while. Or, like me, you can just kind of treat it as a collector's item that you dip into from time to time, um, which is what I do. This is Axel A. Never played that one. Uh, this is a good page. Lots of thumbnails on it there. This looks a bit like R-Type. It is. It's R-Type 3. I don't think I ever played that one. I think I stopped at the first one. Here's some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so in the beat em up section now, obviously. One of my favourite genres, Street Fighter. What was this, Super Street Fighter 2? Look at the size of that boss down there, terrifying. So yeah, it's a really good uh, definitive um, guide to the game art of the snares, I suppose, if you were to to try and encapsulate it in one sentence, summarise it. So colourful. Look at that. Card by card. So, you know, I'm not a, a SNES expert. I can't pretend to be. I shan't pretend to be. Uh, but this has definitely uh, made me feel like I've missed out a little bit uh, not owning a SNES. I had a Sega Mega Drive, uh, which was obviously Sega, not Nintendo, uh, similar. Um, but yeah, there's lots of really good looking games here, uh, more than I was aware of to be honest. So it's kind of a little bit of me is um, sad that I didn't own one. Here's all of the credits, there's a lot of them, I like this end page with a goodbye end. And that is the end of the book. I'll just pop this back in the slipcase. There we go. Another great book from Bitmap Books.